Hello and welcome to this Google Classroom tutorial video hosted by Adam Pearce of Strawberry 7. In this video today I will be showing you as students how to add work to assignments that you've been given in Google Classroom. Let's start by having a look at one of the classes on Google Classroom. In this case I'm just using a test class and we'll click classwork to see what work's been assigned to us. I'm going to have a look at this English assignment. We go view assignment and we can see here that it says please look at the Google Doc and then create your own story. So let's have a little look at the Google Doc. We'll click on it. And here we have a Google document with some instructions and some information on that we can read through. One of the things that we have to do is we have to plan out our story and we've been given some helpful guides here to use to plan this out. Now there are a couple of ways that we can do this. We can either go back to the assignment here and we can click add or create. We can click on docs and that will create us a new document that we can use to create our plan. It's automatically given it your name. In this case I'm logged in as test student but this would be your name here and it's given it the name of the assignment, in this case English assignment. Perfect. That makes it really easy to find our document. So let's have a little look at the plan that we have to make. Well we've got to give our character a name and we've got to give them some physical traits and some personality traits and we might want to draw something here. Let's start with this. We could use a table to do this or we could just start writing out. Let's pop a table in. And we might say their name. And then we might put their name here. And let's have a look at what's next. We've got gender. We've got hair colour. And so on. So now that we've filled this out, let's turn it in. And we'll be asked, do you want to hand in your work? And we will say, yes, hand it in. And then that will be submitted to your teacher and your teacher will be able to um, see that piece of work there. You can also unsubmit the work. You might not always have this option, but if you do, you can unsubmit your work there. If you've changed your mind and you want to add some more details to it, you could click unsubmit and then you could click on it. You could add in some more details. There, for example, and then you could turn it in again. So that's great if we want to hand our work in as a Google Doc or something online, but what happens if we've uh, handwritten something or we want to add something else? Well, that's not a problem because let's have a look as if we hadn't submitted anything. So let's get rid of that. And this time, when we add or create, rather than creating something new down here, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, add something that we've already got. So I've got a photo here of the plan I printed out, and I wrote, uh, wrote some details out by hand here. So if we wanted to attach this, we would go Add, File. We'd say Upload, and we'd say Select the files. Files are on my desktop, so we go to desktop and we double click plan, and then we go upload, and that will put the file here, and the teacher can review that and, um, and, and see that. Equally, if we had something in our, uh, if you had something in your Google Docs already, or your Google Drive already, 
then you could select Google Drive and then you could go to my Google Drive and you could select your document from there. I don't really have anything in here at the moment other than the getting started PDF from um, Google but you would just click your document there and you would go add and that would add the document to your um, to your class there and again the teacher would be able to see that. When you're done just click hand in and that will hand the work in the same as it did with the um, document that we created earlier only this time we've put in the things that we wanted to add. Finally, as always, thank you for watching. That concludes this video tutorial. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. If you have any suggestions for more videos you'd like to see, let us know. If you liked this video, please consider leaving us a like and subscribing to our channel for all the latest updates.